When you resize a form, it's important that your controls take advantage of the form's new size. Often, you can do that with the anchor property. In this lesson, I'll show you how to use the anchor property to make controls rearrange and resize themselves to take advantage of whatever space is available. This form contains controls where the user can enter customer information. It's reasonably functional, but if I resize it, the form looks funny. The controls keep their original positions and the title label is no longer centered. If I shrink the form, some of the controls may be partly or completely hidden. You can fix these problems by setting the controls anchor properties. The anchor property can hold a combination of the values top, left, right, and bottom to indicate which of the control's edges should remain a fixed distance from the form's edges. Initially, a control's anchor property is set to top left, so its top and left edges remain fixed distances from the form's top and left edges. That's the normal behavior that makes a control stay put and not resize as the form resizes. Now let me select the first three text boxes. I'll use the Anchor Properties Mini Editor to set the control's anchor properties to top, left, right. After setting the properties, I press Enter to accept them. Now watch what happens if I make the form wider. To keep the text box's right edges the same distance from the form's right edges, the text boxes stretch. Now let's look at the buttons on the bottom of the form. When I resize the form, they remain in their original positions. It might be better if they move to follow the form's lower right corner. I'll select those controls and set their anchor properties to bottom right. Now when I resize the form, the buttons move to stay in the lower right corner. Now let's look at the title label. When I resize the form, it is no longer centered. There are a couple of ways you can fix that. First, you can set the label's anchor property to top. If you don't specify either left or right, the control moves to keep its relative position on the form horizontally. Now when I resize the form, the label moves to remain centered. The second option is to turn off the label's auto size property, resize it to fill the top of the form, set its text align property to top center, and finally set its anchor property to top left right. Let me do that. Turn off auto size. Resize the control to fill the top of the form. Set its text align property to top center. And finally set anchor to top left right. Now when I resize the form, the label stretches to fill the top of the form and its text remains centered. There's one more thing I want to do to this form to make it really polished. Even with all these anchor settings, you'll notice that if I make the form really tall, there's a lot of wasted space. Also, if I make the form too skinny, the state and zip properties are partly obscured. If I make the form too short, the buttons move up underneath the other controls. We can prevent all of those problems by setting the form's minimum and maximum allowed sizes. First, resize the form so it is as small as you want to allow it to be. Look at the form's size property and copy its value into the minimum size property. Next, resize the form so it is as large as you want to allow it to be and copy the value of the size property into the maximum size property. I don't want to allow the form to get any taller, so I'll just allow it to get wider. Now when you try to resize the form, either at design time or at runtime, the form won't shrink below the minimum size or expand beyond the maximum size. That's what you need to know about the anchor property. By using that property, plus a few others, such as minimum size and maximum size, you can make a form take the best advantage of whatever space is available.